time to do that. Clean it up. And Clean him. It up. Fuck. Don't want to be bringing the target out under fire. And definitely don't want a slug in your back. Like no way. Not neither. take another look if you lose the ball in those areas you're gonna get punished and that's exactly what happened there so the match has restarted 1-0 here Kellen Acosta seconds zero to 100 and then you do it and then it's already like old news for you and it's like you want to do the next thing and the next thing but do you ever think when people tell you you're crazy that anymore the older I get I feel like that's a validation that I'm on something right <laughs> you're crazy you shouldn't do that I'm like oh really <laughs> yes yeah oh easy one for me it's all it's all about the interaction between human and machine and the feedback what a surprise Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus. Want to optimize your graphics card and CPU performance? Today we're diving deep into the world of hardware optimization. 
First up, let's talk about dual channel memory. Integrated graphics processing units, or IGPU, are heavily dependent on RAM. If you're using single channel memory, you're likely losing about 30 to 40% of the GPU's performance. So what's the solution? Dual stick, fast RAM. It offers more performance than a single stick of RAM. Next, let's tackle thermal throttling. If you're using a thin laptop that's packed with dust or has closed vents, you're probably experiencing significant performance reduction. The key here is to keep your laptop cool. The best way to achieve this is by changing the existing thermal paste with a high quality one. If your laptop is new or a PC, you may not need to worry about this step. But if it's an older model, you might want to consider opening it up, cleaning it thoroughly, and changing the thermal paste. You could also raise your laptop to allow for better air circulation, or blow some air into the vents to clear the cooling system. Now let's move on to system optimization. On Windows 10, a quick fix is to download WPD and disable all Microsoft bloatware. It's essential to keep your system free of unnecessary apps running in the background. If all else fails, a system format or reset may be necessary. When it comes to drivers, they're mostly the same unless they've been corrupted. In that case, install the Display Driver Uninstaller, boot to safe mode, uninstall all graphics card drivers, reboot to normal Windows, and install the latest ones from NVIDIA or AMD's website. Finally, let's talk about undervolting. It's a bit complicated, but it can significantly improve performance and cool your laptop. Research your specific CPU to see how far you can go. In summary, optimizing your graphics card and CPU performance involves improving your RAM preventing thermal throttling, optimizing your system, updating drivers, and understanding undervolting. It might seem like a lot, but with a little patience and research, you'll be well on your way to better performance. Remember, every piece of hardware is different, so what works for one device might not work for another. Always do your research, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it.